This isn't music class. And this isn't a music teacher. It's a spontaneous sing-along with the principal. I feel called to be here. I, I, I really do. I love these kids. Dr. David Van Dyke is in his first year as principal at Benton Harbor's Martin Luther King STEAM Academy. It's a school with a dubious distinction. At one time, close to 100% of the kids were failing Michigan's standardized test. The school was put on notice. We had the SRO, State Reform Office, send us, send parents a letter in, uh, in the community that it was slated to close, but we've come up with an agreement uh, where we're going to show adequate yearly progress. The changes were swift and wide-sweeping. New staff, new rules. It's no longer kindergarten through eighth grade. It's now three through five. And every student is held accountable. This data board is in every classroom showing their progress. Remember, 100% used to be here, but as you can see, they are getting more proficient. And now if you walk into every classroom, you'll see that our scores are projected to rise across the board. I'm actually, I'm, I'm really excited about showing how well we're gonna do on the M step, because we, we've done nothing but improve. The stakes are high, and the kids know it. Kids are trying harder since they heard that the school was gonna be closed yeah. down. Yeah. And my teacher said, I'm doing good on my test and everything, so I can help the school not be closed. It's a neighborhood school that means a lot to Josiah King's family. It's, this is the school that represents us and my mom went to the school. We're trying to work hard so the school can stay open. Fourth grader Desmond Jennings admits he was once a kid who got suspended. Now he's trying harder. If you make mistakes and you fix them, it'll be all right. Most of the time, my teacher, I make mistakes and then she just give me another chance. And when she give me another chance, I try to make it good. They need people to listen to them. Patricia Duffmore is a paraprofessional. She's worked in Benton Harbor area schools for 22 years. They have everyday struggles, struggles that we don't know about. And if you just listen, they'll tell you. She says positive, consistent direction is helping these kids succeed. She gives Dr. Van Dyke a lot of the credit. I've had good bosses in the past, uh, but he's like the one that sticks out. He loves the children. If you're happy, no it's stuck. And he loves singing with them too. This principal moonlights as a musician and uses his favorite pastime to help move the school in a new direction. He writes songs that can help the kids learn. His favorite is the vowel song. Hey. I owe you, A, E, I owe you. The Martins One School at a Time grant money will go towards an acoustic electric guitar that stays at the school. A whole bunch of kids don't have success on standardized tests with math and language arts, but they really succeed in music or they really succeed in the arts. And I think that this grant will help us make a step toward helping them have success. The kids say music helps. In music you can experience things, you can talk out your problems, and you can experience things that you don't know. If you have a problem, it helps you soothe your problem, and it calms you down. These kids need to be, feel safe and secure here, and I don't know that they were getting that, but they seem to be getting it now. Together, they're saving their school. Yay! I'm Trisha Sloma, News Center 16.